Hello and welcome on the module 10 course uh, regarding implementation of broadband networks. My name is Lukas Zabudowski and I'm representing Institute of Telecommunications from UTP University of Science and Technology in Bydgoszcz, Poland. The learning objectives for this module are, as you can see here, uh, the introductionary level will provide you the information about the elements which are involved when planning and implementing broadband networks. The basic level will provide you the knowledge of planning procedures and architectures of long-haul networks and how those architectures affect the real-life case scenario and their designs, knowledge of GIS-based planning methods, knowledge of uh, networks uh, of networking layers uh, which are called cross layers knowledge of layer of legal and financial shares for sh for such networks the advanced level will provide skills in a real life architectures and equipment also in technologies through the presentation of case studies in real life scenarios skills in designing a network implementing proper topologies in each layer of the existing network. The broadband internet. Well, why we think about broadband internet? Uh, first of all, uh, currently we have three main premises uh, which uh, des decide why the internet should be broadband. First of the expectations uh, is that the internet users uh, want uh, to have more and more bandwidth uh, as the access line. This premise uh, will be impacting on access network architecture and technology which is going to be used there. Uh, access, of course, should be based on the FTTH technology, which means fiber to the home. The second point is that the volume of the traffic is growing exponentially uh, as a total internet traffic. This premise will be impacting on backbone of our network. Uh, the third point is that the IP network becomes convergent. So we, what does it mean? It means that all the services are accessible throughout, uh, through one network. This premise will be impacting both the core and the backbone of our network. User expectation for access line links and uh, bandwidth. When analyzing the internet development uh, in chosen European countries, the expert forecasts uh, that user expectations for 100 megabit per second access uh, will be in Sweden, uh, the user expectations for 100 megabit per second access was in 2004, in France it was in 2008, in Poland and Spain it, uh, it was in 2012, in Great Britain, it was 2000. It will be 2015. This study was based on the um, on the article "Study to Asset Broadband Bandwidth Usage and Key Trends in Europe," which was released in February 2008. The expected monthly traffic in global internet network. Here you can see the table which represents. Uh, the growing volume of the traffic throughout the years. So uh, the indicator of these changes is so-called CAGR um, indicator, which uh, translates to compound annual growth rate, which its calculation can be seen here. Um, so here is the representation of the traffic measured, uh, which was uh, which was originally uh, in the network um, among the uh, th throughout the years, of course the traffic uh, uh, is measured in exabytes. So the IP traffic to global internet uh, 
you see how it was changing throughout uh, from 2006 to 2012 and the CRGR here is 42 percent for that uh, for that particular growth the other IP traffic was uh, can be seen also as, a, as exponentially as exponentially growing and its value is 55 percent the total IP traffic um, is raising uh, in a in a, a really huge amount of, uh, of of rate and volume, and finally uh, it can be shown that it is a forty six percent throughout those those years. Here you can see the graphical representation of the table from uh, slide. Uh, the earlier slide so you see that this traffic is really really growing exponentially uh, each year uh, here you see here you see the distribution of IP traffic by the segment of the users so uh, there are three main uh, groups of the users that we can uh, indicate here which are consumer users the business users and the users which are um, concentrated on the mobility so all the uh, smartphones all the tablets and uh, phablets etc etc uh, so we see here how the compound annual growth rate uh, value is is changing for those kind of uh, users so uh, you can see that uh, this uh, the, the biggest the biggest growth for uh, uh, as, well, the, the biggest value for CGR is uh, from mobility users. That means that mobile devices are growing really really fast in a huge huge uh, um, in volume each year. Um, of course, comparing the value to um, to the uh, to other users of course it's, a, it's a still small uh, because these are the main two groups that uh, are, are focused on the broadband but of course this this kind of users will be growing and growing really really fast throughout the years and coming years um, and uh, it is likely to to be a huge amount uh, in a five to ten years um, time so here you see, uh, of course, the uh, graphical representation of the table from this slide before. So uh, and, uh, again, you can see it's exponentially, uh, exponentially a growth uh, um, among the years. This table presents you the distribution of consumer traffic by sub-segment of the services uh, uh, which are implemented in in the uh, regional networks in the in the long haul networks so uh, what we can indicate here uh, we see um, the, the main groups uh, here so we have a web and email the point-to-point -point connections uh, all the gaming uh, the video communication uh, the uh, uh, voice over IP services um, the uh, internet and uh, video uh, to PC traffic, uh, internet video to TV traffic, and the uh, total traffic for that uh, for, for that particular services uh, as a, as the uh, um, as a sum of, of all those uh, values, uh, and of course uh, the graphical representation of the uh, of the table uh, from the from the earlier slide so again uh, it is it is it is easy to be to be noticed that this traffic that those traffics uh, are growing um, the the smallest values for for traffics which are uh, not generating this uh, the, this value is is not is not um, so uh, so big. This is it's a web and email data, which is rather constant throughout the years in video communications. Uh, but you can see.